Hello friends, this is Teacher JB. Uh, let us start English. We are starting the book English Grammar in Use. And then today we are going to study Present Progressive and Simple Present Part 1. So let us compare Present Progressive or Present Continuous with Present Simple or Simple Present. So it is I am doing and I do. We use progressive or continuous for things happening at or around the time of speaking. The action is not complete. And then we use simple present for things in general or things that happen repeatedly. The water is boiling. Can you turn it off? At the moment you're talking, the water is boiling. So you're asking somebody to turn it off for you. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. This is a general fact. Listen to those people. What language are they speaking? Excuse me, do you speak English? Let's go out. It isn't raining now. It doesn't rain very much in summer. I'm busy. What are you doing? What do you usually do? At weekends, in American English, it can be on weekends. I'm getting hungry. Let's go and eat. I always get hungry in the afternoon. Kate wants to work in Italy, so she's learning Italian. Most people learn to swim when they are children. The population of the world is increasing very fast. It's, you, you're talking about something happening at this moment. Every day, the population of the world increases by about 200,000 people. So you're talking about a general fact. We use continuous or progressive for temporary situation. I'm living with some friends until I find a place of my own. You're working hard today? Yes, I have a lot to do. We use simple for permanent situation. My parents live in London. They have lived there all their lives. Joe isn't lazy. He works hard most of the time. Now, I always do and I am always doing. There is a slight difference. When you say I always do something, I do it every time. I always go to work by car. You don't say I, uh, you don't say I, I am always going. When you say I'm always doing something has a different meaning. For example, I've lost my phone again. I am always losing things. I'm always losing things means I lose things very often. Perhaps too often or more than normal. Let us see the examples. You're always playing computer games. You should do something more active. It means you play computer games too often. Tim is never satisfied. He's always complaining. He complains too much. Now let us do exercise. Are the underlined verbs right or wrong? Correct them where necessary. Number one, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. This is right because it's talking about general fact. The water boils, can you turn it off? The water is boiling now, so this is wrong. Say the water is boiling, boiling, sorry, instead. Look, the man tries to open the door of your car. It's happening now, so you need to change this to is trying. The man is trying to open the car, open the door of your car. Can you hear those people? What do they talk about? So there are so, uh, people talking now. So you need to say what are they 
talking about. And the moon goes around the earth in about 27 days. So this is general fact, and this sentence is right. Number six, I must go now, it gets late. So when you use get, you use a progressive. So this is wrong, I must go now, it's getting late. Number seven, I usually go to work by car. When you have usually, you usually use simple presence. So this is correct. Hurry up. It's time to leave. Okay, I come. Now I am moving at the moment I speak. So I need to say, I'm coming. I'm coming. And number nine, I hear you've got a new job. How do you how do you get on? So here you need to say, how are you getting on? How are you getting on? How are you getting on? And number 10, Paul is never late. He's always getting to work on time. So when you have always, you need to use simple present. He always gets to work on time. Number 11, they don't get on well. So this one, they are always arguing. So you talk about something uh, keeps happening. So you use present progressive. So this sentence is correct. Okay, put the verb into the correct form. Present continuous or present simple again. Present progressive or simple present. Let's go out. It isn't raining now. So it's now, so you use it isn't raining. Julia is very good at language. So you're talking about general rule, general fact. So she speaks four languages very well. Hurry up. Everybody is waiting for you. It's happening now. So everybody everybody is waiting for you waiting for you number four to the radio no you can turn it off so since just like you you're asking the, the other person if the person is listening so are you listening are you listening to the radio now? No, you can turn it off. Number five, listen to the radio every day. So every day is routine. So do you, do you listen? Do you listen to the radio every day? No, just occasionally. The river Nile blank into the Mediterranean. So this is general fact. So you need to use simple present and flows. The river Nile is third person singular. You need to put an S. The river blank very fast today. So it's talking about now. The river is flowing very fast today, much faster than usual. Blank we usually grow, so you have usually. So when you have usually, you usually use simple present. So here, we usually grow, we usually grow vegetables in our garden, but this year, this year, so you need, we need to say, uh, not anymore, we are not growing, so this year, we aren't growing any. Number nine, how is your English? Not bad. I think improving slowly, you're talking about progressive. So I think it is improving slowly. Number 10, Rachel is in New York right now. So right now, so she's staying. She is staying. 
she's staying at the park hotel but always so when you have adverbial frequency you use simple present she always she always stay and then we need an s because she's third person singular she always stays there when she's in new york can we start working soon because i'm feeling something i am i'm starting i'm starting to feel tired can you drive it looks like i cannot but i am learning i am learning i'm learning from my father my father is teaching me is teaching me my father is teaching me normally so when you have normally you use simple present i finish normally i finish work at five but this week this week so nowadays i am i'm work, working i'm working until six to earn a little more money my parent they permanently they live in manchester okay they live in manchester they live in manchester they were born there and have never lived anywhere else where now the question your parents, where do your parents live? Where do your parents? Since parents is plural, you don't use does. Where do your parents live? Sonia, okay. So she, at, at this moment, she's looking for a place to live. Sonia is looking for a place to live. And then at this moment, she is st she's staying with her sister until she finds Samir. So she she's staying. S T A Y I N G. She's staying with her sister until she finds somewhere. Number sixteen. What blank your brother do? So he's asking about a job. So you need to use simple present. A simple present what but your brother is third person so what does your brother do what does your brother do he's an architect but at the moment at the moment what at the moment he's not working at the moment he's not working at the moment he's not working so this is something happen uh, happen at a party so here i usually when you read usually you usually use a uh, simple present i usually enjoy enjoy parties but this one i'm not i'm not I'm not enjoying I'm not enjoying this one very much okay finish base sentences use always ing I've lost my phone again not again you're always losing your phone the car has broken down again that car is useless now you can use that car or it it always it's always breaking down it's always breaking down look you've made the same mistake again oh no not again I am always I am always making that mistake. Making that mistake. I'm always making the same mistake. The last one. Oh, I forgot to my glasses again. It's typical. 
You are always. You're always forgetting. You're always forgetting your glasses. Your glasses. When you keep uh, doing something, when something keep uh, keeps happening, you use always and a present progressive. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. Uh, I will come back to you with another topic as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.